Hey guys, Phoenix Productions here, and welcome to my first video of 2023. 2022 uh, and 2021 uh, were pretty rocky years for the channel, uh, and I do have high hopes for this year, but we'll see how it goes. Of course, today we are reviewing the 501st Battle Pack. It is officially called the 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Uh, unlike the 2020, or yeah, the 2020 set, uh, the infamous, the great uh, 501st Troopers, uh, which basically came with uh, three 501st Clone Troopers, a Jet Trooper, and two droids, and it was a $30 set. This is a $20 set, includes a cannon, along with two 501st Heavy Troopers, a 501st Specialist, and a 501st officer this is the first time we are seeing a fully uh just full clone troopers battle pack since i believe 2015 uh geonosis troopers <laughs> so yeah pretty crazy and it's the first battle pack that we're getting with all clones that are canon since 2014 which is when i got into lego star wars so yeah seeing this uh is pretty nuts uh, along with this is the first set with the new helmet mold and this set also does debut a couple new pieces of course the macros being pretty exciting for future clone wars era sets so without further ado let's get right into the review all right so here is the 501st heavy trooper and uh, moving up the visor, you can get a better look at the helmet. Um, and it looks pretty good. Uh, you only get two variations of clone helmet in this set. Uh, you get this with like the heavy kind of padding at the top. And then you get basically the same helmet that we got in the previous set, just on the new helmet piece. Um, but we do get accessories now for the helmets, and I will say, as good as this figure looks, the uh, 2008, you know, pieces that we're putting on these new helmets definitely show their age as putting on, especially this piece, is a real pain. Uh, and just like the top of it with that uh, hole there, just doesn't really, better look, yeah, it doesn't really look that great. Uh, so it really does suck um, if you're looking at it from that angle. But overall, I think the figure's really good. I did not mean to say that it sucks. I think that this figure uh, is actually a great addition to the 501st Legion, which, by the way, aside from names, characters, uh, and pilots, we basically have every variation of a 501st Trooper now. And I find that uh, really cool, of course. When I first got into LEGO Star Wars with the 2013 501st Troopers being like a, a rare sought after figure, I never thought that we would one day have, you know, basically every variant of a 501st clone. Now, the torso print is also really cool. It is your, uh, actually, it is not your standard 501st uh, print. It has some different. Uh, it has a little bit of variation in the blue and, of course, has those straps. Uh, sadly, this is a problem we see with a lot of the uh, figures in the 501st range. Uh, they all have the same leg prints, and that is simply not accurate. Of course, uh, uh, characters like the Jet Troopers and the Heavy Troopers have uh, blue boots, and sadly, we don't see that on any of these figures. Um... But overall, it's still pretty good torso print. Uh, the blaster that is included for the heavy troopers, which of course, you get two heavy troopers. Uh, this is basically a black version of the same blaster design that we see in the uh, shore troopers. We see the shore troopers using them in all of the Rogue One sets. And then turning this figure around, got a backpack which is 
a really nice print. I know a lot of people wanted this to new uh wanted this to be a new piece. I don't really think that's necessary. I mean, no one really complains uh, when snow troopers had uh, printed backpacks for the longest time. And me personally, I think this one is a really cool design. You can use it for a lot of things uh, like Rex at the end of the Clone Wars and overall just a very versatile piece. And then, of course, the new clone print that we have come to know and love over the course of the past three years now or almost three years debuted in the summer 2020 line that is crazy that it's been that long so of course the visor does also create quite a overcast over the helmet uh, which is what they're used to do in canon obviously uh, but sometimes you know when you're trying to get a look at this figure you might need to change the lighting a bit so that is it with the 501st heavy trooper the officer is a kind of controversial part of this set, and this is because in all of the promotional material, the rangefinder is actually attached to that bottom hole, which is, of course, impossible in real life without uh, severely modifying the figure. And that is, of course, because uh, it's supposed to be attached to that hole uh, in Star Wars sense. And it just looks a lot better. Of course, this, uh, it's kind of grown on me because I've been looking at this figure for a while now, but of course it is very inaccurate and, uh, compared to proportions in Star Wars, the rangefinder should not, just should not be there. Um, there isn't many changes from your normal 501st trooper to this guy, except that you kind of have, uh, the back kind of looks like a blue shock trooper design with how much is filled in with blue and then the belt is blue and he has a printed on waist cape which it, it is certainly a shame to see cloth waist capes uh go away i really do miss them now they looked a lot better and with these new clone designs uh they could have really uh finished them off and made them look even more uh just even better but sadly you know some parts of clone troopers have kind of been cheaped out on uh, but i still do like the look of modern uh, lego clones and he has your classic blaster that was introduced in i believe uh, this specific one this pistol i believe was introduced in 2011 so over 10 years now it's pretty crazy uh, not much to this figure, no head change, and the helmet is just the old, not really old, but the 501st helmet from the previous 501st battle pack, that same print just put on the new mold. So let's move on to the final figure of the set. So the 501st specialist might not look like anything too special, uh, no pun intended there. He just has your uh, DC-15 rifle. I think that's what this is supposed to like be showing off. But basically, a long rifle. Uh, and besides that, it is just a normal 501st clone introduced in the 2020 set. Uh, just with blue arms and a little bit of uh, yellow on the torso. But the main part of this figure is the new macro binoculars, which are very exciting. I mean, just taking off this helmet, it has the Battlefront 2 look, which I think might be a little different from Clone Wars, but it's not too different. Uh, you can certainly put this uh, helmet onto your normal 501st Troopers, use it for an Umbara mock. I'm sure that would look sick. Uh, and I'm excited to see what can be done now. I mean, now we can get Bly... We can get Devis, but I think I think Bly is uh, more likely because he's more well known and he's actually in the movies, uh, maybe in like a ATOT or a Swamp Speeder. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just really excited to have these, and uh, I can't demonstrate it because there's some issues with moving around things. Uh, but this 
piece can go onto phase one helmets. However, it is a little loose, so uh, it can still be used though. You can still put it up on the visor. You just can't really do the, the halfway thing that you can do with this on the new phase two piece. Uh, but overall, I think the figures in this set are pretty good, uh, pretty well done. And let's move on to the vehicle. So the turret or cannon included in this set uh, is not in the 501st color scheme like the previous uh, 501st battle pack, uh, which technically wasn't a battle pack, but the walker and speeder in that set were in the blue color scheme. Uh, this is not, this is just in your standard Republic color scheme. Uh, looks a lot like a AV-7 cannon, I think that's what it's called. Uh, and so... Pretty useful for mocks, but of course for mocks you're probably going to want to get rid of this big red thing, which is a spring-loaded shooter. That is probably lost forever. Um, This also has a new piece, which is in the barrel. I believe this is a new piece. Uh, if not, uh, tell me in the comments. I've not been too up-to-date with uh, too many LEGO Star Wars sets. Uh, or just Lego sets in general. I like the look of the gear in the uh, end of the turret barrel. Or the... I guess they're both ends. Uh, but overall, this one looks very nice. I like the, the legs. It's not as sleek as that one First Order turret was. In the First Order Specialist Battle Pack, I think that's what it was called. That is my favorite turret design ever in Lego Star Wars. Uh, but this one does look pretty nice. A little jarring that the seat doesn't have like a, a backrest. Um, and I don't know what it is about these like teeth pieces. Um, I don't know. They don't fit. <laughs> they don't fit for me. I would have much preferred like a, a red, like that piece, that vent kind of piece, but in uh, the dark red color uh, as detailing. I don't know, that's just me, um, but, so these legs are connected with these little clips, there's a transparent piece at the bottom to stabilize it, and then also, one interesting thing is that the turret itself is actually held with the, these little bars, which is, I don't think I've seen that before, but it certainly makes a smooth up and down motion with the turret. So that's it facing straight forward. I don't know. Kind of looks like a, kind of looks like it could be a droid. If you got rid of this seat over here, you can have it stomping around as a droid. That's just me coming up with random stuff. Of course, this is supposed to uh, emulate the AV-7 cannon, which is a anti-vehicle uh, kind of can, kind of cannon in Star Wars. Yeah, it's a nice build for a set like this. Uh, certainly makes me wish that it was $15 because, of course, that was the battle pack standard for a while. Uh, this being a, like, this being a $20 set, I'm just not used to, but it's uh, the new normal with inflation and the economy. But we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> we're here to talk about Legos. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I do like this vehicle, and I do like this set. So let's move into the conclusion. So a few extra things for the set is extra pieces. You got uh, just a extra spring-loaded shooter, uh, tile, blaster, binoculars, uh, an extra backpack piece, so that's pretty pretty good. You can put it on Anakin Skywalker or something for any Clone Wars build. Some extra accessories and a extra thing of micro binoculars. I actually got scared uh, because the Michael the Michael. The micro binoculars are not with the rest of the accessories. So I actually thought my set was missing them, but they're in the bags with all the rest of the parts. The instruction manual, 
uh, is carrying the like new kind of 2022 design, uh, which is very stylized. You got a clone trooper walking, all the little extra graphics. So pretty nice. And then the box, uh, the box is pretty nice. Zooming out. You can see uh, it has the yellow line there. I'm pretty sure that's the same design as the other Clone Wars based boxes. And then here you got 20 years of the Clone Wars. Of course, that's referring to the uh, old miniseries. Uh, basically, 20 years since we first started to see the Clone Wars as uh, a in-universe event start to play out, if that makes any sense. Um, but, of course, Hasbro has like a whole line with this. Uh, and you can see the turret at the side there. But I do like the new box design. I don't have the Snow Trooper Battle Pack, but uh, I should probably get it. Uh, just to have all the boxes. But I like the, the black rebling. The fact that you see all the actual figures. And then you have the planet from the beginning of the Siege of Mandalore arc in the background with that bridge. Or maybe that's Cato Nemoidia. I don't know. But I think that's the Season 7 planet, if I'm not mistaken. Then you have the uh, the Specialist in real scale. So yeah, pretty cool. And going back to the conclusion, this is a very good set, in my opinion. And it is certainly weird that we're only getting... Do they have it in the instructions? Yes. These are the only sets in this wave. Look at this. You only got three sets. That is weird. I want all three, though. Uh, not sure if it's actually a good idea, but um, I told myself once a TIE Bomber would come out, I'll get it. And I want that Boba Fett figure. Uh, and I want more of these. <laughs> But I have way too many Legos, and I'm currently uh, packing up a few uh, for at least a while until I get my own place, which is who knows when. Uh, but yeah, who knows if I'm going to get the rest of them. Uh, probably the Boba Fett one, uh, not for the build, just for the figure. But I'm excited for this year of Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars certainly seems to be... Uh, getting better, and also, I really liked Andor, so I'm hoping that we get some Andor sets uh, in 2023, because uh, we only got one in 2022. Uh, this video is starting to get really long, so if any of you guys were just here for the review, then that's we're basically done with that. I wanted to talk about uh, 2023 in general. Um, yeah, 2022 was not the best year. For this channel, I, a lot of people have been messaging me, dead channel, dead channel. Uh, this is new sig fig, by the way. Just gonna put him here. Uh, I don't know what he's, what he's doing. Um, but you're gonna see him in the brick fair videos. So basically, I'm not gonna do any more videos until uh, I actually upload my backlog. <laughs> um, and in the past, I've said, oh, give me a week. Uh, give me a weekend. I'm going to be realistic here. I'm going to try to get my backlog done now because it's like winter. There's nothing really to do. Um, but expect it to take a month. Um, I'm, I apologize, but it's probably going to take a month. And my Lego animated series Borealis is kind of in development hell. But rest assured, I have put way too much uh, preparation effort into this to cancel it it will happen and it will be in 2023 so hope you guys enjoyed this video it is a very long one and i doubt anyone stuck around but if you did thank you uh and i hope to see you soon all right bye